Hello and welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic is going to be about custom URLs and we're going to be discussing several custom URLs using the prompts. We're going to be drilling from report to dashboards and from dashboard to dashboard. We're going to experiment with value prompts, element prompts, and object prompts. This is just a high level of how to use these things. You can get creative as much as you want once you know the basics. So the first thing I used, I'm going to use the category sales report. I did some modifications on this. I just simply added a max year ID and a min uh, or last year, uh, a last year uh, derived metric just so I can use them in one of the elements. And I just want to show you that the year uh, elements of the year uh, prompt is used um, in one of the reports and the value prompt is used in another report. So I just created uh, two reports and a predefined list of objects and object prompt. So I just replicated the report and created three different prompts embedded in it. I also created a dashboard and I have links to each one of the types of prompts that I want to describe. Let's start with the main one. This is a text box with a URL hyperlink. And in the hyperlink, the most important pieces are the event. If you're, have, if you're targeting a report for 001, you also need your report ID. And you need, if you're passing elements or values or whatever kind of prompt, you need to include that at the end. I'm using the value prompt answers. And I'm going to pass in either a metric or a value. It depends on what you're trying to pass. This could be a metric value or a numeric value. These, are, these come in very handy once you start wanting to pass special or custom links, okay? Uh, for demonstrative purposes, we're just creating something simple. And if I run the dashboard, I should test my link and it's get, picking up the max ID. Let me edit this dashboard quickly and see what's going on with this link. Maybe make a little bit of modification for the properties and formats. If I don't want this year, I can type in a manual 2014, for instance, and check this out. If it's a cached dashboard, you might want to rerun it. So it depends on your settings. All right, so if I rerun it and test the link, it should be 2014. And there you go, that's my expected report uh, result. Now let's uh, talk about the Similar when you're passing a link to a dashboard, you want to be uh, using the uh, message ID and you want to pass a specific value. If you leave the specific value as a unidentified or a generic ID, you may be passing all or some depending on the, the design of your metadata. But in this case, the year ID that I passed only passed the first value. So to avoid that, you would have had to specify which year IDs you want or ID you want to pass. If you're not sure, you can go to the source and see if it got filtered. And indeed, it this got filtered by just this, the first value because it's a value. It's taking the first value. It's not passing all the values. So to, if we don't want to pass a single value, uh, we could use the element list. And that's the next step. Element lists. Uh, you would have to use the ID of the element and then the value. You could use multiple values. And uh, let's test this for the 2014. And if you notice the link, it was just passing 2014 using that same uh, URL. Also, you could use it uh, passing predefined uh, object prompts. And in this predefined list, there was two metrics that the user could have cre created a target report with. I'm just going to take the ID of one of these and try to pass it on. I need to include the ID. I need to include the type, which is a metric, is number four. And these are there are several types. I will include it in the comments of this video. But for uh, metrics, we're using number four to pass those values depends on what you're passing you could change the object type all right and uh, once we add that into the URL 
it'll be ready for execution so I should expect the report to run and generate items for uh, the revenue or values for revenue okay and uh, finally how is this going to be useful uh, a good way to put this in use is when you combine the items with um, the selectors with selectors you can control uh, elements such as the year and you can have the user select a year and then the links dynamically update to uh, to take advantage of that selector so here I am added it and now I can change the year from the drop down and any, any link I click on I can have it reflect the values associated with that this works with value uh, and it also you can make it work with the attribute elements as well all right um, hopefully you can take advantage of all these uh, simple uh, URL methods to pass prompts and values from one report to another or from one dashboard to another thank you